Hi guys, it's Angela. So I'm contemplating what I could pour to commemorate 2020. And when you think of 2020, um, besides cluster um, one, one other phrase kind of comes to mind and that's dumpster fire. <laughs> so I think I'm going to pour over this little mini dumpster and, uh, I'm still trying to figure out the logistics of exactly how I'm going to do it. Um, there are a couple of little holes down here. <laughs> um, I think like, you know, laying it on the canvas maybe could work. Um, but either way, I think I want to put a coat of paint and primer on it first. So that's what I'm going to do today. Um, but I wanted you guys to see it first in all its little glory. This is just a little, um, it was a toy that, well, the toy came inside the dumpster and, uh, yeah, I saw it and I said, you know what? That, that is what we're going to do to commemorate 2020. So I'll be back with this bad boy primed and, uh, and a plan. Hi guys, I'm back with a little bit of a plan. So I put a coat of paint and primer, uh, matte black. It's not a great coat, but the idea is uh, to kind of cover it anyway. So uh, just kind of covered the whole thing. And I'm gonna just, this is an old bottle of paint. Um, I don't think I want to cover the bottom entirely. So I really want to kind of focus on the front of it, but I really want to cover this top part. Um, and because the colors I kind of want to use are fiery colors, because again, 2020 was a dumpster fire. Um, I'm going to use a lot of reds and warm yellows and oranges and things like that. So, um, I just have the little top. Um, the back side did not get covered very well. I think what I'm going to do probably after, I wanted to see how it, the back side got covered. I figured it wasn't worth trying to mess with it, taping it off or anything. Um, but I may just put a plain coat of um, black acrylic on the inside after. Um, but I really want to make sure that the top gets covered. Really, this is more or less just a <laughs> homage than a functional piece anyway so um so I'm just going to kind of set that there so that the paint can kind of drip off and um for now I'm actually going to set this off to the side I'm going to fill up a cup with um probably a good five ounces of paint and I'm going to make my layers pretty small I think um you know just just because. And uh, I will speed up this process and then we'll be back when I start to pour or maybe not. Um, oh, this is, uh, oh, I'm also using um, all the Artist Loft ready mix paints. And uh, this one's just kind of like a, a mixed color with a couple of the reds, um, some blue, and uh, just a tiny bit of gold just to have a little bit of something that wasn't red and orange in there.
This is one of those where I think the painting is definitely going to come out cooler than the object, but I'm okay with that because look at all these swirls. Oh my goodness. Look at that. There are so many cool swirls in this piece. Like, I almost want to paint on the dumpster again just to get swirls like this again. Look at that gold. Can you see that gold? I'm going to zoom in on it. Oh my gosh. Oh, I hope you can see that on camera. I I mean, I don't always love chaotic pieces like this, but I love the chaos in this piece. I just think it's so cool. Um, my little dumpsters are, well, is, um, they're muted. It's, um, it's more like it's, it's already been burnt, which is fine. You know, 2020 is almost over and, uh, it's been through some stuff, <laughs> as have we all, <laughs> and uh, we'll, we'll see how it dries, but, um, you know, I'm not as, uh, I'm not as impressed with, with the dumpster as I am with this, so, um, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll come back when the dumpster's dry and show you the final pieces, but... <gasps> You guys, I love this canvas, and I'm not mad at the dumpster either. I mean, it's pretty cute for what it is, but wow, as something to pour over <laughs> for this canvas, holy moly, um, the shine on this I mean I can't even there's so much gold in this that the camera is not going to pick up and that artist loft paint if you haven't had a chance to try it I highly recommend it does this just such cool like depth thing with how it just layers itself I love it so much. I don't know. I just, I really, really like this painting. I really do. I just think it perfectly sums up 2020. <laughs> it's a perfect little, perfect little chaotic dumpster fire. I love it. Um, and here's the little dumpster. And yeah, I do think it, it looks scorched. I think, um, again, it wasn't really meant to be a little functional piece. It was just doing nothing and it was just fun to pour over. So, um, it's kind of, it's kind of sticky. It doesn't want to stay closed. So it's going to probably sit like that for the most part, but, um, I'll show you all the sides of it. Um, you know, and that's the back side, which is fine, you know? Again, not meant to be a totally functional piece. Just probably something I can put little, you know, whatever's in. So, anyway. There we go. 2020 in a nutshell. <laughs> Hope you guys have a happy and safe, safe New Year's Eve. Um, look forward to many many pours in 2021 and um thank you guys so so much for watching and i will see you guys in the next videos and um thanks for joining me on this crazy crazy journey bye for we'll talk a cup of kindness
was yet for days of Yeah.